Hello my friends, I'm Brett Larkin and I'm super excited to have teamed up with Bella Beat Health Tracker to bring you this bedtime yoga routine. You don't need any prior yoga experience or even a yoga mat to do these relaxing nighttime stretches with me. Let's get started. To begin, we're actually just gonna slip off the bed and come to face it. We're gonna stand about an arm width distance from the bed, back yourself up, and just come into a gentle forward fold. Let the head hang. Press your hands into the mattress and then softly bend the knees and straighten. Bend the knees and straighten. So the feet are just hip width apart. And just let the upper body fall. Think of the crown of the head and the sits bones yearning apart from one another in this modified forward fold. Inhale. See if you can make your inhale three counts, filling up all the way. And exhale completely. Just letting the day melt away. For our next move, I want you to really press your hands into the bed and then visualize a string between your shoulder blades. You're just gonna round your back. So coming into that Halloween cat shape. And then you're just gonna allow yourself to ripple forward and you can watch me for the first one. This is one of my favorite moves to do before bed. It's just like a gentle up cat, down cat. Good, and then you'll just ripple through the spine to come back to your forward fold. Let the heels touch the ground. Again, breathing in. Think of the space between your shoulder blades rounding. Rise up onto your tippy toes, and then let the heart float through. Breathe in. Maybe look up, firm the shoulders down. And then exhale, gentle rippling. Heels press back down. Two more on your own, breathing in. Just imagine you're moving through warm water. Opening the chest. And exhale to fold. And last one. From here, just gently step your left foot onto the bed. And we'll come into a little modified mini lunge. I just let to let my hips be heavy here. Move the hips from side to side, and we're looking for just a gentle stretch in that right psoas front of the leg. If you don't find it, or it's hard for you to feel, you can try bending the back knee a little bit and then slowly straightening, slowly bend, and slowly straighten. And just think of the hips getting heavy. Again, you can pendulum them to side to side. Good, and then just switch. Take the opposite foot in front, help it onto the bed, and sink. Be on the tippy toes of that foot that's on the floor, maybe micro bending the back knee and gently straightening, just keeping the shoulders and the face soft. And close the eyes. See if you can just tune into your breath. Place both feet back on the floor. Fold over your legs. You can just clasp your hands at the nape of your neck. Just traction from side to side. Legs can be straight or bent. 
and then roll up one vertebra at a time. So let the hands drop to the floor. Take the chin into the chest. You're gonna round, round, round your low back, mid back. Head is like a bowling ball. Last thing to come up as you slowly come to stand. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Good, and then just come back onto the bed. Lie down. And we're gonna take our right ankle over our left knee, reach the hands through, and just hold on to the left thigh, gently pulling it into the body. If it's hard for you to reach the thigh, conveniently we're in bed. So you can just put a pillow underneath your head. Make sure the right foot just stays flexed. And when I'm here, I like to just move my legs from side to side, just a little bit of a tick-tock to unwind tension in the hips. You should be feeling a stretch in the right hip. And let a huge in-breath wash over the body, filling up all the way. And exhale through your nose or mouth, let it go. A huge deep inhale. Exhale, let the day go. Good, from here, you're just gonna let your right foot drop onto the bed. So you just let this whole situation fall to the right. And from here, we'll just let this move into a simple spinal twist. So you can double wrap the knees if that feels good. Take up a lot of space in your bed. So just reach the arms in a T-shape, nice and wide. And you can always just stack the knees if double wrapping them is a little too much. deep breaths here. With every inhale, you're just thinking of expanding your torso with breath, filling it up to its fullest capacity. And every out breath, you're just letting the bones of the body get heavy and sink deeper into your bed. Last breath like this. And gently bring the knees back up to face the ceiling and we'll take the other side. So left ankle over right knee, threading the arms through, holding on to the back of the right thigh and gently tractioning the left ankle towards the body. Keep the left foot flexed. Relax the shoulders, relax the jaw. Once again, you can invite in a tick-tock motion or even just take this configuration in some circles. I'm just thinking of melting the left hip. sole of the left foot now drop onto the bed. Take your arms wide in that T-shape. And then just come into any twist that feels good to you, wrapping the knees or stacking them. And get creative, especially when we're away from our yoga mat. It's just an opportunity to get more curious about what would feel good for you. Grab more pillows. Adjust so that you can truly let go. Good. 
close your eyes, slow down your breathing. And two more breaths. Gently bring your knees back to the ceiling. Press yourself up and just make a stack of pillows so that you can comfortably lean back with your body propped up. And your legs can be long or in a diamond shape. Take the left hand to the heart and the right hand to the belly. Let your shoulders melt, close the eyes, relax the tongue. Inhale, inflate the hand on your belly with breath, feel the belly rise. Inflate the chest and then exhale out the mouth for a count of three. Again, breathing in, belly fills chest fills, open the mouth, let it go, once more, fill up all the way, it's like you want to burst, exhale releasing, And take a few more big breaths in, sighing out the mouth. Or you can just let the arms drift down on either side. Staying here as long as you need to, to fully unwind. And let your burdens down, let the day go. And I'm wishing you a beautiful, restful sleep. Namaste.